on Sailing Catalpa. We spend some time at the beautiful Thursday Island and we get a drone. <laughs> Here's one happy guy with his new toy, practicing flying in only 30 knots of wind on a hill. Luckily, it seems to handle the wind pretty good. We're pretty excited to have this drone and to share with all of you some awesome footage that you just can't capture on the ground. So here is Green Hill from the sky. Well, what do you know? The tides are right again and we're still here. Time to get back out to the reef, I guess. It's time to go spearfishing. Spearfishing is very new to us, but we are loving it. Why? Well, when you live on the ocean and fish and ocean creatures are what you live off, it makes sense to be able to pick and choose and only take what we need. For us, it's not about the trophy fish, but more about feeding our family. And we are enjoying this way of gathering our food. Dad must have interrupted this cold trout having lunch. Look at the size of that thing. He was one hungry cold trout. Dad was pretty stoked with his catch. So an awesome little technique for cleaning our crayfish was to run the knife around the inside of the head, slightly twist the head and it was removed. And keeping one of the antlers, um, we insert the antler up the bottom hole you go up the pooper hole, with the, we then feed it up through the rectum, run it all the way <laughs> with the barbs facing back towards us and then pull firmly which cleans out the cray and ready to go straight on the barbecue. We headed over to Prince of Wales Island for one last time. This ended up being one of our favourite spots to come, especially just in the afternoon to cool off. But today we we're going to make the most of it and have the whole day here. Enjoying the sunshine, our friends, and the warm water. I felt so happy today. I wish I could wake up and feel like this every day. One time she wrote it in a letter with one thing to say. And all of my bridges were burning in the wake of my pain. We're at Crystal Vales Island. I can feel the wind change. Mm -mm -mm. And it'll be better now, just like you. I will have to act brave. And through the dark clouds, you will see. Tears will dry and the sun will shine Trust me, instead of holding on to green Good, place your hands into the sand And feel the beat that comes to hand The beat that comes to
find a place that exists with no memories. Mm-mm-mm. So what to know you is a place where I can see myself be. To turn my back upon the sadness that's enveloped me. The rising sun is a sign of good things to come, I believe. clouds you will see and then your tears will dry and the sun will shine trust me instead of holding on to grief you could place your hands into the sand and feel the beat that comes to One of our favourite places to come and we spent most afternoons here just having a swim and cooling off. Prince of Wales Island is the largest of the Torres Strait Islands, covering some 204 kilometres in area and measuring more than 20 kilometres across at its widest point. It's hard to see from the ground how massive this island actually is. Being inhabited only by a few families, it's very sparsely populated. The village in the north is called Muralug. Sorry if that wasn't said right, after the native name of the island. Wow, it is a massive island. After a super fun day, everyone was a bit tired and it was time to go home. A barbecue and a few drinks to say goodbye to some new friends. One more dive to provision for our next passage. to fill the freezer for our next passage. You. So it is 
Sunday morning and we're on Thursday Island. We're at our friend's house where we've been staying and um, we are packing up because we're leaving today. So we've been here nearly three weeks and um, we've had a really good time with our friends. But we are currently packing to leave. Bye, Freddy boy. Bye, Stel. 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 Bye, Good man, eh? Look after the girls, help that out. Yep. And uh, good job with your first crayfish, sweetheart. It's pretty awesome. Pretty oh. <laughs> Thank you for having me, guys. Oh, yeah, pleasure. It's a pleasure. So good to see you. It's a little booger. Bye, Freddy. Bye bye. bye. As we said goodbye to this special little family, it made us think of all the years of friendship we've shared together, our kids being born and the holidays with each other. Pretty much, these guys have been there for it all. But this isn't a goodbye, it's a see you when we see you, because people come and go in your life, but you guys are family. And no matter how many oceans or kilometres separate us, you will always be in our hearts. We'll cherish this time we shared together here on this truly beautiful island that you now call home. It is still a piece of our hearts. Until our next adventure together, biggest love. Good job, Mama. <laughs> Katalpa's first landing with the DJI. Survived its first landing on Catalpa. Um, so we just got back to Catalpa. We've um, had some really nice time with our friends on Thursday Island. So we actually got off the boat and um, went and stayed with them for nearly three weeks. And we had a really nice time. But um, a little bit sad. We're really missing 
missing them. They only dropped us back this afternoon and it was a bit of a sad goodbye. Um, the kids were all devastated to leave each other and uh, we're going to miss them heaps. But I just wanted to say a massive thank you to you guys, Chris, Kirsty, Estelle, Freddie and May for having us and for looking after us and showing us around Thursday Island and taking us out on the boat and just we had the best time and we love you guys so much and um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you and yeah come and find us somewhere in Southeast Asia and have a holiday love you just pulling up the anchor we're just uh, about to leave From Horn Island, we're just coming past Thursday Island. So, we're leaving the Torres Straits today, we're actually heading to the Northern Territory to Gove or Nalamboy. Uh, the passage is about 350 nautical miles, so we think it'll take us about three days. The weather looks good, winds look good, it should be a nice passage. How are you going there, Captain? Yeah, good, like you said. Give me a island. kiss goodbye. It's a Thursday Island bug. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's been a really good stay. One of our best little uh, destinations, I think. Probably just because we've got good friends here. But, uh, I'd like to stay, but we're also going to keep moving. These winds still blowing. We should have a nice 15 knots whole way across um, to go, which could be pretty nice. Um, yeah, not long up here though, where we are in Thursday Island, we'll start to turn into the doldrums, which would be nice to experience. It'd be hot, but some beautiful reefs that we didn't get to explore, just because of the conditions with the South East Trades, but that's all good. Another day, maybe when we come back around through the Solomons and come back through the visit. Uh, we had a good time. We met some really lovely people on the island and um, in particular one of our viewers, Raf. Hi Raf. We are... I'm having a coffee now. It's not as good as the uh, coffee we can get. Yeah, you want a, you want a good Just opposite coffee. the Anchorage, if, you, if you're after a good coffee, um, there's a little jetty over there. And his cafe is right on the water. Beautiful little spot. This cafe is called Maikai. And they got really good food in there as well. You can actually anchor right out the front of, of his cafe, so it's very convenient. They make their own bread, delicious. Definitely if you are heading up to the uh, Torres Strait, make sure you uh, go in there and say g'day to our good friends. Yeah, it's a beautiful island. We're just coming around the outside. There is Green Hill where we flew our drone. We've got some really cool footage from up there. Looks like Brown Hill at the moment. Everything's really dry. But in the wet season it goes green and lush, so apparently. It's not long till the wet season. We actually felt the seasons changing while we were here and we got here with a lot cooler and it's definitely warmed up in the last two weeks. That's why you don't fight the tide. This is why you don't fight the tide. Up here in the Torres Straits the tides are mental. They're like uh, race. The tide, when it, when you've got a flooding tide, it'll come through and it runs to the west. Um, it's only just on the turn of the tide. And we're doing, I've only just got the engine idling, and we're doing nine knots. So, definitely in these waters up here, you want to pay good attention to the um, tidal flow. And uh, as I've said before, they're very strange. You know, it can be high tide over here and low tide over there, running in over here and running out over there. But the general flow is straight out to the west. Um, and yeah, we're just putting along now until we get out. We're doing nine knots, so. 
so go with it. It's moving like a tower bus. It is moving. You don't have to have a sail bus. We shared a summer in the sun That's when I knew you were the one To take me away to a place that I've only ever dreamed of And I will never be the same Cause I'm walking every day With skipping, I'm stepping, I'm waking up next to a picture-perfect face My heartbeats are too a little something like do -do 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 -do. Smooth first landing as we land on Catalpa as we sail along. Won't be doing that for a little while. Luckily, there was no damage. That looked way worse than it actually was. So join us next time as we leave Thursday Island and sail 350 nautical miles to Gove. It all comes all thanks to you all. Thanks to y'all